Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Toasty, and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video. And guys, today, oh man, oh man, it's time to jump into the, into the news. And I checked them before, but uh, I gotta say I'm uh, disappointed. But at the same time, not disappointed, and you guys will know exactly why. So, running through Daybreak Extra Stages uh, will be live after Thursday, on Thursday, sorry, after maintenance. So you guys will be able to do this and get some of those crisps to awaken those abilities. Then Narsh, we're gonna go right here, obtain a 5 star summon ticket. And uh, you guys can see Final Fantasy VI. And this is where I got really disappointed. So Event Dungeon, Narsh, starts on Thursday after maintenance. And we'll go all the way up to uh, basically Wednesday, the uh, December 4th. So that's gonna be, oh man, we're almost in December already. And guys, I'm filming this, and there was actually a snowstorm already, and this is November 12th, so that's pretty crazy. And uh, after that, I'm gonna have to go out and shovel. So, beginner's quest, you get a rare summon ticket. The currency is gonna be in large coal, so we're gonna be able to get 200 at intermediate quest. Advanced quest, 300. Pro quest, 500. Elite quest, 500 lapis, which uh, I'm uh, really gonna need. And legendary quest, you get 5,000 uh, large coal. And you guys can see uh, some of the stuff that we're going to be able to get from Mr. Is that King Mog? Yeah, that's King Mog. So uh, the Thief's Knife, Agile Thief, chance of evading some physical and magic attacks. So uh, that's a knife. Attack 88, and uh, that's what it is. Reflect Ring Accessory Magic 30. So that's really, really nice. Enables auto reflect. Reflect back magic cast itself at the beginning of battle or after being revived. All right, that's pretty cool. Then protect the Asper's physical boost attack by 10% and ice resistance by 5% so that's really bad uh, don't go for this but if you guys are starting the game uh, actually these two things are actually not that bad not that bad and uh, yeah get a lot get a lot of Narsh coal so the bonus characters you're gonna be able to fight to increase that currency is gonna be the Hell's Rider and the Golden Bomb and uh, look what I found out Koopo Demon Killer is effective against Hell Rider and uh, Golden Bombs Koopo and yes you guys can see right here Terra is out and the boy Log. So uh, we're gonna go right here. We're gonna go right here. Unit intro quest, Magitek Warrior Terra. And uh, oh man, look at that. Oh, she's beautiful. And uh, they had to release it after spending all my resources on Aldor King Rain. Really gloomy, really. Uh, so I'm gonna try to farm as many tickets and uh, lapis as possible because uh, this girl's coming out and uh, I seriously want to summon her because she's one beautiful and amazing unit. So we're gonna go over the featured summon right here as your boy has to drink coffee. Because you know I need my coffee. So Final Fantasy VI, Magitek Warrior Terra and Adventure Lock are gonna be the five stars going into seven star. Then we're gonna have a four star into six star. Nasha and the three star and going to five star Latil or Latil or whatever you guys want to call him the guy with the shield in front of his hand like this That's all it is. So major boost Here's the step up summon. It's gonna be 25,000 lapis, which is pretty nice, which is pretty standard also uh, And uh, this is the most standard thing, right? So like always they're gonna be giving us Those little five star select summon, uh, those five star tickets. So when you have four of them you use all four and you're going to be able to uh, basically summon a rainbow. And that rainbow is going to be, I think, a 30% chance to be whether Terra or Locke or any other units after that. And uh, like always, you can get those uh, exchange coins, which is really, really nice. Because with 140, you can get a prism for either of the units that you want. So Magitek Warrior Terra. Ooh, sorry about that. Magic Damage Dealer. And uh, she's pretty insane. So Super Trust Master Ward loves whereabouts reduce mp consumed for abilities by 10 percent and boost magic by 80 percent when equipped with a sword damn girl that's insane and her trust master reward the terror sword attack 87 magic 135 and magic 20 percent that's really really nice then her featured abilities oh she got some global upgrade uh complete magical activation one use every six turns reduce fire wind and light resistance for all enemies and boost own magic and enables quadruple magitech for one turn uh i want to say that in jp this was 250 percent boost to own magic which i don't know what they're going to do in the global so we're going to go uh, we're going to wait for the data mine but uh if that's the case 
Oh man, oh man, she's gonna be really, really strong. Then uh, global upgrade, Chaos Light. Deal light damage and light damage that powers up with consecutive uses to all enemies. Thank you very much. Riot Blade, one use every three turns. Consume own HP to deal partial and mitigated damage, magic damage, and drains MP from all enemies and enables certain abilities for one turn. Pretty nice. Terra. Oh girl, you're so beautiful. Beautiful. All right, Adventure Luck. We're gonna go with him now. It's Super Trust Master Reward Locks Dagger. Attack 165, chance to inflict sleep. Enables high speed evasion, chance of evading some physical and magic attacks, which is pretty nice. Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty nice actually. Trust Master Reward, first rate treasure hunter. Nullify charms, uh, charm and boost attack by 60% when equipped with a short sword. Not that bad. Well, uh, if you guys, you're, you're gonna be putting this on him actually, so that's gonna be not that bad. Then his featured abilities: submersion dagger, damage one enemy two times and reduces water resistance. You're that thief. One use every three turns. Damage one enemy two times. Boost own LD gauge fill rate and enables call me a treasure hunter for one turn. Then the global upgrade: I'll protect you. One use every seven turns. Reduce attack, defense, magic, and spirit for all enemies. Boost own attack and water element to own physical attack now that break uh i don't know what the break is but it's something around like 74 percent that could be really really nice or even 80 we never know uh then nasha the four star going to six star trust master reward fortune stellar vision uh nullify paralysis and confusion and chance of evading some physical attacks yeah that's uh that's what it is and uh latil uh, trust master reward guardian visor it's an accessory. Spirit 30 equips, uh, enables light, equip light shields or large shield, large shield. Can equip light shields. All right, can equip light shields. That's what it is. Uh, that actually, that's not that bad. That's not that bad. It would have been really nice if you could uh, actually equip both of them, but that's not that bad. Not that bad. I can see some use for certain units for this, but for now, uh, this, this is going to be, this is the meat and the potatoes of uh, the banner. Meat and potatoes of the banner. Yeah, whatever that means. All right, then we're going to move on to the next one. FFB NYC live stream. So there's going to be a live stream on November 16. Uh, so you guys can attend that on uh, probably on Twitch. So that's going to be really, really cool. Uh, during this live stream, I'm going to read it. During this live stream, not only will be sharing the latest information, but we've also prepared various segments for the show, such as a, an FFBE viewer survey, battle with the producers, where the producers will battle against a member of the audience at the venue and lapis lottery well will determine the amount of additional lapis you can get from the nyc live stream lapis giveaway that's currently being conducted that's pretty nice please tune in during the live stream and participate in the various activities from home or at the venue to obtain generous in-game rewards and uh, i hope by generous they don't mean like i don't know 100 lapis give us something good uh so yeah uh, these tickets, yeah, basically these the the tickets that are gonna be on the step up summit. Uh, well, it's gonna be a twenty percent. I don't know why they keep changing from banners to banner. Just make it always thirty percent. One time is twenty percent, then it's thirty percent, then the other time is twenty five percent. Gooby, just keep the same amount of percentage. That's gonna be really nice. Uh, then the exchange shop, indeed, you guys will be able to exchange those coins on the step up uh, banner. And oh yes, oh yes, we got a new fight. Aegeon, Aegeon's body uses powerful defenses abilities on itself when it uh, when it has its arm. So you'll want to take out his arm first. This big bad boy, uh, this Colossus, is coming back to fight us. And uh, here's what uh, Mr. Mog has to say: Each arm will appear up to three times, but will appear as beast or demon types up to two times. Kupo, in addition to its fire and dark attack. It also often uses attack that inflicts status ailments, stop and KO. So be prepared for anything, Kupo. When its body begins concentrating plasma, use light attacks to decrease the damage dealt by Aeon's universe and uh, annihilator, annihilator, Kupo. Ooh, that was a mouthful. Uh, so yeah, Aeon's coming back, guys. That's gonna be a big, big fight. So initial completion reward, you get a hundred lapis. Then uh, complete the quest. Cross Aegon arm. This is really, really nice. It's a two-handed weapon. It's a fist weapon. Attack 162 enables High Tide and Arbiter of Mankind. So basically, High Tide boosts LD gauge fill rate, uh, fill rate and Arbiter of Mankind boosts physical damage against human. 
that's really really nice then completion reward deal lightning and light damage two times or more to each enemy to an enemy uh, you get a 10% Mughal. Evoke an Esper, you get 250 trust points. Finally, they're not just giving 50. Woohoo! Thank you. Uh, defeat left arm Machina and right arm Machina with magic. You get a 5 star select 70 tickets. Yes, indeed. We're gonna have big fights. So, yeah, guys. Terror's coming out. Aegean's staying, coming out. So, basically, they want you want you to use that Terra to beat Aegean. So, guys. Oh, that's gonna be really, really fun. I'm so disappointed. That she's coming out right now after all that I spent on Aldor King Rain. And yeah, you guys, he's 7 star, by the way. He's 7 star. And I gotta say, these two together, uh, just spamming that LB gauge is so fun. Because basically these two is what they're doing. They give the LB crystals and uh, they just do destruction, which is pretty, pretty nice. So guys, like always, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like down below. Let me know if you guys are going to be summoning for a Magitek uh, Warrior Terra or uh, adventurer luck if you're a big fan of it and uh yeah guys best of luck if you are summoning on this note i'll catch you guys on the next one peace i'm gonna go shovel now because i need to shovel peace